Pam Dyson, founder and the director of the DFW Center for Play Therapy Training. We offer affordable play therapy continuing education opportunities for play therapy credentialing. You can learn more about us at dfwplaytherapy.com. I see a lot of children who are um, experiencing grief um, and loss. Quite often it's because of someone close to them died. And I like to use this little technique with them. It's easy to implement and it takes very few supplies. You need some uh, paper hearts. Um, I just came up with a little heart template pattern myself and cut them so you don't have to purchase ready-made hearts. This is some card stock, but you could even just use regular uh, printer type paper. And you need a box of Band-Aids. These come from the dollar store, 100 different sizes um, in here for a dollar. So that's certainly very, very affordable. Now I wouldn't just give a child the whole box. I would pull out a few, six, eight, however many you want to, um, so that um, you're not using a whole box of Band-Aids per child. Because you know, kids love Band-Aids and they use every one we gave them. So if we limit them, um, from the start, then we don't have to set a limit with how many they can use. So we talk about with the, the child when, when, let's say, for example, it was a, a father, when your dad died and um, you might have had lots of different feelings in your body. And sometimes when something sad happens, if sad's a feeling that they share about that, um, we say that maybe our heart uh, feels hurt or our heart feels broken and we can ask them to show us what their heart felt like when they found out that their dad had died. And we ask them to rip this heart into pieces. So they might rip it in half, they might rip it this way, however many pieces they would like to rip it into. And with each rip, they could even actually share, you know, I was sad because now my dad won't be here. Um, for my birthdays, or I'm sad because now my dad and I won't get to um, go to the park anymore. So you could actually have them share specific things that they will miss that makes their heart feel sad or broken. But the way we use the band-aids then is that they can tape, using the band-aids, their heart back together. And um, I've already opened some of these band-aids. I think sometimes the band-aids that are kind of the more traditional size are easier for young children when I say young like maybe three to six easier for them to manipulate younger children I mean older children might be able to um, manipulate these little tiny uh, band-aids um, sometimes there's even like little circular ones but I think for the most part these maybe work the best and then they can tape using the band-aids their heart back together you know band-aids represent a couple of different things they can represent hurts, but they also represent healing. And most children are very aware of that. Sometimes, you know, if a child has a scrape, you put a Band-Aid on it, it's almost like a miracle. It, 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 it heals the hurt. And so that's kind of what this uh, is symbolic of when we um, use it on this broken heart. So I'm just gonna use three different ones here like this. And perhaps then we could have them share maybe what each band-aid represents about what they can do or people that can help them heal their broken heart. And maybe if it was dad that died, maybe mom uh, still gives us hugs and tells us she loves us. So that helps my heart feel better. Um, my grandma and grandpa are there to help me and they take me places and do fun things with me like my dad used to do. And then maybe this one is maybe my teacher at school who always checks in with me to see how I'm doing. So I think you kind of get the idea. It can go lots of different ways depending on the child's specific situation and depending on if you're using this as kind of an assessment tool to see if the child, where the child's at in the grieving process and what coping skills they have or if you're trying to help them come up with some coping skills to deal with that loss. I've often had children spontaneously take a marker and even maybe write the names of people on here that, that can help them with their broken heart. I've even had them write the names of pets as well. So it's kind of, it's their heart, they can make it any way they want. And then we also talk about how, you know, it doesn't look like it did before. And when someone you love dies, your heart does break. It does go back together. It'll never be exactly the way that it was before because you'll always carry a part of, of that person and that loss with you. But um, this can be a very powerful tool for grieving children and, and it can be very beneficial to them 
in the healing process. I hope you um, use this idea with your clients. I've had very um, wonderful, warm responses from not only children, but um, from their parents as well when we've done it. Sometimes we've done it in a family setting as well, where each family member um, creates one of these if it's been in specific to the loss that their family has suffered. Anyway, I'd like to connect with you. You can find me on Facebook and Pinterest and Twitter and LinkedIn, and you can find links to all of those social media platforms on my website, dfwplaytherapy.com. Thank you.